Hey guys, Tara here for Rev3 Games, and today I am hanging out with Paul Hellquist once again. Uh, we've spoken quite a few times before, actually. Today, you are going to be showing me Krieg the Psycho, which is the next playable character for Borderlands 2, and we're going to hop right in here and look at some of the skill trees. So, this guy's a bandit, right? Yeah, it, it, originally. He's now, you know, converted over to being a vault hunter. Uh, like one of our heroes, but he's still way closer to the like villain side of of the Vault Hunter spectrum. Um, sort of his his backstory is that he he was a, a you know a heroic Vault Hunter type um, originally, and Hyperion got his got their hands on him and just put him through the ringer, and his brain broke. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he looks broken in many ways, actually. Yeah, yeah, his brain broke, and you know a lot of the like things that they were doing to him, but also like bulked him up and made him super powerful. The the inner hero is what's trying to like drive him to take all this power that he's he's mm -hmm. got and and use it for good. So I noticed he's got a little buzz saw, or buzz axe. That is the blade for his buzz axe, which is his class mod. And it has popsicles on it. Yes, I believe I have the <laughs> class mod that turns him into a sickle. So the earliest two skills here both allow you to accumulate Bloodlust stacks. Bloodlust was um, uh, is sort of an extrapolation, expansion upon the idea of, of uh, anarchy from from Gage, who could you know earn all these stacks. And it changed the way you played and the way you thought about gear. And we really loved what what that tree did um, for our uh, you know most hardcore fans who love building their specs. So bloodlust is is taking that idea and adding some new twists to it. And uh, different from anarchy, you have a maximum limit of only 100 instead of I think it was 500 on anarchy. Um, and the other thing is they decay. So you can accumulate them very quickly, but you have to keep in combat and keep fighting in order to maintain them. This one here is, is his mid-tier, uh, Buzzaxe Bombardier, and during the action skill you can you smash people with your giant uh, Buzzaxe, but you can also throw it at people. And this adds dynamite to that uh, axe when you throw it so that um, it will you know, deal a bunch of damage and get area of effect. And that also turns your action skill into, uh, if you wish to play it in this way, you can use it almost entirely as a, as a ranged okay. uh, action skill. The um, capstone here is called Blood Splosion. And um, what this one does is whenever you get a kill, um, it causes that enemy to explode with an elemental nova that matches the element of whatever weapon you use to kill it. So if you want fire, you kill a guy with fire and you get a big fiery explosion, etc. Now, how does all this bloodlust stuff factor in? Similar to Anarchy, all of the passive skills in here uh, are, care about how many stacks you have. So, uh, let's see, right here at the base, we've got blood-filled guns. Um, magazine side is increased for each stack of bloodlust, so the, um, the more stacks we have, the bigger and bigger mm -hmm. our clips get, which allows for rocket launchers that get up to you know, 10, 12, 15. Um, rounds and shot, great for shotguns as well. So um, you're going to want to use your high fire rate weapons. And you'll see the bloodlust stack starting to accumulate down at the bottom. It's already up to 10. One thing with the action skill is he doesn't get any health regeneration at its baseline. In order to, to survive during his action skill, he needs to get a kill. If he gets a kill, he gets all of his health back. So you're going to be second winding a lot, basically. Yes. <laughs> yes. This character, second wind is not a failure. <laughs> if if you're in second wind, that's okay. You, you're you're still uh, you're still in in good shape. Let me hear those screams. That's blood explosion. Let's check out one of the other trees. Yeah, this time we'll be taking a look at the Mania Tree. And the Mania Tree, um, one of the things uh, at a high level with this guy is a lot of things that are generally lousy, that you're used to being like a bad thing, are a great thing for Krieg. So for example, man, it's usually lousy when my shields are down. Not so much with Krieg. Um, he has, in this Mania Tree, he has lots of skills that uh, are better when your shields are down or when you are taking damage and the ones that are about taking damage do more if you're taking damage to your health than to your shields. Okay. So, for example, 
Um, this one here increases our melee damage, um, and it increases it even further if our shield is down. And then over here, we've got Feed the Meat, which <laughs> in increases his maximum health, but it also increases your shield recharge delay. Now, usually oh. you want your recharge delays to be as small as possible. But for Krieg, it's okay for his shields to be down longer because that means his other skills yeah. are, are more powerful for longer. Oh, don't worry, you can't stop me! Oh, stop me a thousand times! Duel the Rampage is very important for uh, really getting rolling with him. This increases how quickly his, he can use his action skill, again, based on taking damage. The wrinkle here is you can now be damaged by teammates. Ooh. So there's more risk there, but if you're working together, your teammates can power you up and get you right. going. Light the fuse is a, a real stretch, something that I really wanted to push and, and, and try something new with. This replaces Fight for Your Life. Okay. So now you're playing a different uh, different type of little mini game, so to speak, when when. Um, when you go down, and while you're doing it, you have a bundle of dynamite, huh. but you don't shoot your guns anymore. You run around with this bundle of dynamite, throwing dynamite at, at your foes, and you can then blow yourself up. And if you get a kill with with any of those options, you get you get revived. So you want to wait until the last second to do that, so you don't throw it somewhere and then everybody moves away. Yeah, you want to make sure that you've weakened them enough with your with your tosses that are kind of weak so that you know your big yeah. explosion's gonna, gonna finish somebody off. Redeem the Soul is cool. It, it uh, allows you to switch places. You can revive a teammate instantly, but it forces you into fight for your life, which if you've purchased like the fuse, you then get to do that instead. Oh. Um, this one gets me some more melee. And uh, Silence the Voices. Again, lots of pros and cons in this tree. Um, dramatically increases my melee damage but I have a 12% chance of smashing myself in the face. So what's the sort of fictional reasoning for that? Well, that's, that's his, his psycho personality fighting back against the inner hero. Uh-huh. Because um, it's like he, the inner hero is always talking into his head and, and he's trying to get rid of yeah. it by, uh, you know, by smashing himself. So he's got multiple personalities, yeah, basically. He's, yes, he does. He does. Open your face! <laughs> And then finally we have released the beast, which is our, our big powerful skill here at the end. And this is when your health is low, below 33%. Why is it 33%? Because that's when the health bar gets all excited and mm -hmm. is warning you that you're at low health. So we use that trigger as, okay. a, as feedback to help people know when this is available. When you use your action skill and you're that low, you transform into the psycho uh, badass that you fought before, where you get that little gimpy arm and, uh -huh. and, and, and all that. And then you, again, you get uh, huge bonuses to your melee, uh, damage reduction, and then the real stinger is once that action skill ends, your cooldown is immediately refilled, so you can, you okay. can, you can go right back at it. <coughs> So let's check out the Hellborn skill tree now. So the Hellborn tree was inspired by all those bandits, uh, those psycho bandits that have uh, been attacking everyone for two games now that are on fire all the time. What are they doing? Why What's are they up on, with that? Yeah, why are they on fire all the time? Why are they okay with that? <laughs> and that was sort of the inspiration for this tree was like, let's, let's allow the player to be that guy and sort of see how that works for them and, and, and uh, they're okay with it. So again, Things that are normally lousy for, for you are now good for you. In this case, it is being on fire is now good for you. Great. Um, and so the, the two baseline um, skills here, no matter which one you spend, give you a chance that when you let, light an enemy on fire, you will also light yourself on fire. And you can see the orange text here of while you're on fire. Mm -hmm. Any skill that has that is improved um, by being on fire, and okay. as you can see, it's pretty much on everything. So this tree is about using your, your fire weapons in the early game to let yourself on fire to get damage reduction, um, 
greater damage from those fire weapons, better chances of lighting people on fire, things like that. Then when you sort of hit the middle of the game, when you're like, oh man, robots, fire, ah, fire doesn't work so well on robots, you get access to delusional damage, which now allows any elemental weapon to light you on fire. Oh. So you can switch out and use whatever is, is feeling best for whatever types of enemies you're using, but still get all the benefits right. of lighting yourself on fire. I want to save fear. The other two sort of marquee skills here are Hellfire Halitosis, which again, inspired by our enemies, the Hellborn enemies from Borderlands 2, um, you can now breathe fire by using your melee attack and it overrides like uh, Salvador's Super Punch did. Uh -huh. um, and then his, his capstone is called Raving Retribution. When you're on fire and he starts spouting off craziness, um, any damage that he takes from enemies causes him to sort of channel the fire off of his body and send it out to whoever hit him. So there's these homing balls of fire that attack whoever is hitting him. So he can, again, get into the midst of everybody. So our goal here is to pretty much just get lit on fire. Yeah, so first we want to use the, well, there this we works because, yeah, we're, we have the delusional damage. And there was a fireball that just, there goes another one. So the raving retribution is already working. Um, now we're not on fire anymore, so we want to, uh, Oh, but now, now we're back we're on, on fire, fire again. again. And we're going to breathe fire to finish that guy off. Fireballs, finding people who are shooting me. And there's so much burn happening that often when you uh, get into a second, uh, second wind situation, someone on, who's on fire out there is going to bleed out. And so oftentimes you get a second wind like that where you, you barely went down and then you pop right back up because yeah. someone just burned. For Bloodlust, the best Bloodlust uh, stack building weapon that you can find is the crappiest SMG <laughs> that you can find. Really? Yeah, the one that does has the highest Just clip size, yeah. fastest fire rate, and lowest damage so that it won't actually kill them. So that it'll keep you allow being able to build your stacks. And then you can just use your yeah use. And your then staff once you're at a high stack count, you switch to another weapon and, mm. and devastate people. Always making people think. Yep, this guy is really exciting to me because, you know, on his his sort of character level, he's sort of the dumbest. Uh huh. I'm a big guy and meat bicycles and you know and whatnot. But from a play standpoint, you actually have to think more about your skill ch and gear choices than any of the other characters uh -huh. we've ever done. Awesome. Well, do you guys have a release date for this yet? Yes, this is coming to uh, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and PC on May 14th. All right, and this costs... $10. $10 to yep. everyone. Yep. Even if you have a season pass. Yes, yes, this is uh, $10 for everybody. All right, well, thank you so much, Paul. Thank you. I'm excited yeah, to play some Krieg. He's, he's a lot of fun. He's really awesome. Can't wait to light myself on fire. <laughs>